happy Valentine's Day. Today is Tuesday, February 14th. Um, I was outside dragging my barrels in, so that's why my glasses have already turned to sun sunglasses because it's gorgeous outside. It's still a little breezy, so I knew you didn't want to hear the whoosh sound. But uh, it's 39 degrees. It's supposed to go up to 43. The sun is shining really bright. I'm really... I'm really ecstatic that spring is coming. I know it is. Um, we've been very fortunate that we really, knock on wood, that we haven't really gotten hit with any major snowstorms, like the Northeast, oh my gosh, they got plowed. But uh, um, I like snow, I, it doesn't bother me. I don't like walking in it or driving in it, but I love looking at it. I particularly love like a nice storm, only for the beauty of it, not for the uh, fatalities that come along with it but uh, to see the ice on the limbs the tree limbs and I prefer to see a tree with no leaves on it I think it's more beautiful than a tree that has a lot of uh, flowers and you know I mean spring is pretty but fall autumn is my favorite time of year because I love to see the whole basis of the tree the root of the tree the the structure and uh, it's just that's what I like I really do I really like that and uh, there was a tree across the street from me in the, in, behind the house, and it was a dead tree. And I moved in this house in 2006, and it was a dead tree. And so all year round, it never had leaves. And when I would sit in the back room and watch TV, I would look out the window and I'd see that tree. And it just, it just gave me such joy. It really did. It was just a beautiful tree. And then in 2014, um, I went on vacation, and when I came back, the tree was gone. They finally cut it down. I was devastated. My beauty that I saw out my window was gone. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I know I'm warped. That's just who I am. But I just think that it just, it's like the inner soul of the beauty of nature all around you is when you see things in the fall, in the winter too. And then spring, you see the new life, and summer is just everything. Is, I know I'm sounding so, like a philosopher here, and I really am not. <laughs> I'm really not. But, uh, the older I get, the more I appreciate all the beauty around me. I, I went so many years and that those seasons rushed by me and I didn't pay attention. And now I'd like to think I'm only in the late summer of my life, although I know I'm in the autumn of my life, um, quickly approaching the winter of my life faster than I want to. But, uh, you know, I'm content. I'm going to, I know I'm going to a better place. And so I live with that. Uh, I live my life the way I want to live it now, um, and I don't think I could be, well, I, you know, I do have a mean streak. Everybody has a mean streak, but I don't think I could be just outright mean all the time. I just couldn't. I, uh, that's just not who I am. And uh, I just hope that when they put me in heaven, they put me in a section that doesn't mind people talking to them, because I'm going to be talking, because I talk, 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 as Denise will say, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> So, um, if you ever see me about, I'm going to be talking to you, whether I know you or not. I'm going to start to talk, and it's, it's who I am, it's who I've always been, it's who I always will be. That's how I will. Uh, even when I have Alzheimer's, hopefully that that never happens. But I, I do think I'll talk. I'll talk like I knew you forever and ever, whether I did or not. So. Um, Nothing to do, that has nothing to do with weight. Uh, I can't have any of my fruits today or uh, any of my vegetables with seeds, so I'm kind of bummed. Uh, I think I'm going to have oatmeal for breakfast, but I saw that one serving is a half a cup, and uh, that's four points. I don't think a half a cup is going to be enough. Isn't that terrible? But uh, I think I'm going to make a whole cup and count it as eight points and uh, have a cup of tea with it. And... Just try to watch what I eat today. I can't eat anything with seeds or fruits or vegetables. And poor Sandy. Tomorrow I can't eat at all. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, let's go. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this walk. I really am. So come on, let's go. Hop along. Let's go. Well, maybe not hop along. You'd get tired too quick. Even if you skipped along, you'd get tired. No, let's just go for a walk. That's good enough for us. Well, I'm back. Um... My map, my walk didn't track how far I walked, but I did walk for 30 minutes, and uh, I have 4,000 steps. So 
whatever that equals out to. I'm sure that probably people are wondering how I could think I'm still in the um, autumn of my life <laughs> because this is the way my mind thinks. I think for the first 25 years of your life, that's your spring of your life. You're learning about all the things around you. You learn how to walk and talk. You go to school, you go to college, you get a job, you start a family, or you get married, you start a family, or in some cases, start a family, get married. <laughs> um, but <clears throat> by the time you're 25, you're pretty much on your journey. And then from 25 to 50, I consider the summer of your life. And that's when you're just going to really have fun. You're going to have fun with your kids. You're still going to have difficulties because you're still trying to, you know, get that career going. You're still trying to pay for your house, pay all your bills. Let me tell you, you're going to have bills the rest of your life. It doesn't matter how old you are. Um, but you probably have more bills because your kids are involved in sports and activities and stuff like that. But like in summer, you really enjoy it. It's just looking back, 25 to 50 were some of the best years of my life. They really were. And then from 50 to 75, um, I consider the autumn of your life. You kind of reached your goals. You're kind of chillaxing, uh, realizing what's going on with your life, um, knowing that, you know, it's coming to an end soon, but uh, not soon, but, you know, it's, it's a lot quicker than it was. You can go at any time, but it's a lot quicker than when you were in the first 25 years of your life. And then by the time you get to 75, you've entered the winter of your life. And... With the winter comes winter storms, snow, ice. Um, you got to move a little slower. You, um, you have to overcome more obstacles. And I, I, I equate the snowfall with your health. Um, as you get older, you require more medications. Um, not necessarily true in all cases, but in most cases, you have more medications that you have to take. And uh, you're just settling back and looking back on your life and realizing how much you've accomplished. Uh, speaking for myself, um, I look at my children and how well they turned out. I'm looking forward to my grandchildren giving me great-grandchildren. And uh, just different milestones. I'm looking forward to David's graduation. I'm looking forward to their weddings, them having babies, all of that stuff. And that's part of, that's part of life. You have to go through the four cycles. And um, I'm ready for it. You notice how I said 75, so I still got nine more years to be in my autumn of my life. <laughs> so um, I'm not looking forward to the winter of my life, but uh, I'm looking forward to my life. I really am. And I know that I'm going to be a lot lighter. I'm going to be a lot healthier. And uh, it's because I took control of my life. It took me to the autumn of my life to figure out that I had to take control of my life, but I'm doing it now. And um, I'm glad you're with me on this journey. And I know I'm all philosophical today. I don't know why. I really don't. But uh, that's the way I am today. So uh, I'm going to go in and drink a little bit more water and uh, figure out my breakfast, which I still think I'm going to have a cup of oatmeal, and uh, go from there. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, let's eat breakfast. Um, eating breakfast so late is kind of going to work in my favor on Thursday because uh, or Wednesday with no eating allowed. But I'm gonna have tea and water and oatmeal. And you know what, that's a half a cup of milk and I think I probably could have got away with a quarter cup of milk because that's a little bit too much milk for me. But anyway, um, I started the day with a prayer. I've drank 32 ounces of water so far. I've walked 4,500 steps. And my quote is, in order to succeed, we must first believe we can. And I do believe I can this time. Uh, one cup of oatmeal is eight points. Three cups, or three points for a half a cup of milk. I probably could have got away with a quarter cup of milk. Um, my tea and water is zero. Um, oatmeal and cream of wheat are the only two cereals I put sugar on. One teaspoon of sugar is only one point. So uh, 12 points for my breakfast. I have 25 points left. And I just wanted to say, hi, Valerie. How you doing? Well, not only could I have gotten away with just a quarter cup of milk, I could have got away with a half a cup of the oatmeal. Uh, I did eat the whole bowl, but I really, it was too much. Live and learn. So next time I know, a half a cup will be enough for me. Okay, my last meal before Thursday night. I'm going to have my leftover chicken, some refried beans, uh, sugar-free jello pudding, and tea and water. My six ounces of chicken are four points. My cup of refried beans is six points. 
quarter cup of cheese is four points, my sugar free pudding is two points, my tea and water was zero, and two tablespoons of sour cream is three, so 19 points. I have six points left over. Ooh, it's a little scary. It's a little dark in here. Um, done for the night. I have some morning I'm going to do tomorrow. I could have done it today, but I figured I'd do it tomorrow so I could be distracted. Um, my prep doesn't start until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So I have some running I have to do during the day. Get that out of my way. And um, so I probably will vlog a little bit tomorrow. And that's about it for tonight. I'm going to get my pajamas on and get ready for bed. So I'll see you guys in the morning.